Last time I was hunting rabbits on the Isle of Skye, and I took one rabbit with a long headshot at 68 yards. That wasn't a one-off fluke. I've had quite a few long-range rabbits recently, most of them headshots and all cleanly killed. Here's one at 52 yards, which is longer than most people would recommend for an air rifle. I'm using just a regular 12 foot-pound 177 air gun. This is a BSA Scorpion SE, a pre-charged pneumatic. I've proved it has more than enough power at that range to produce a clean kill. The difficult part is to place the shot in exactly the right spot, in this case the rabbit's head. To do that, you need to shoot with real precision, not just bring up the gun and fire one off in the hope of getting lucky. I like to get a good low prone position so I'm nice and steady. Then I use a heavy beanbag under the forend for a really steady rest. This one's filled with dried rice. With my left hand, I make a fist under the toe of the stock to hold the gun rock steady. If I need more height, I can always slip something under my hand to raise it. I've set up overlooking this field that's popular with rabbits. Now I'm going to use my laser rangefinder to map out the distances to landmarks like this post and the edge of the rushes. I've already plotted this gun's trajectory and I've got all the info written on a piece of sniper tape stuck to the stock. But now, wherever a rabbit pops up, I know exactly how much holdover to allow. This one appeared at 62 yards, so I knew to use the fifth line down from the centre crosshairs. Now it's just a question of aiming and releasing the shot as carefully as possible. So long as there's no wind, that's all there is to it. Just careful range finding, knowing your trajectory and precision shooting. Using this method, I've had several rabbits at ranges from 50 to 70 yards. The longest was this one, out at 83 yards. It took a couple of hops and dropped dead just out of shot, hit through the neck. Of course, wind adds a whole new dimension. At these longer ranges, a bit of wind can drift your pellet several inches, easily enough to cause a miss. But that's a whole different story. I'll look at that another time. 